In this video, I'm going to show you an easy fix if your electric garage door does this. Hello YouTube and welcome back to another video. I've had my electric garage door for nearly four years and this problem has just started happening. This was a really easy fix that, to be honest, I got wrong at the start. So I thought I would share this video to hopefully help some others. The garage door would go up fine, but when trying to close the door, it would only go down a little bit and then stop. Then when you press the down button again, it would go down a little bit more and stop and so on. This warning light is to do with the sensor on the door and was on the kind of control panel. At the bottom of the door, there is a plastic case that has a battery in it. I undid these screws and took the AA battery out. I did think it looked a bit strange as it was a lithium battery and I'd not seen an AA lithium battery before. Anyway, I had some AA batteries, so I replaced the battery and this happened. It was exactly the same. Weird as I, thought this would fix the problem and I knew the AA battery that I replaced it with was new. So here is the part that I didn't realise. Lithium batteries have a different voltage to normal AA alkaline batteries. The alkaline normal AA batteries are 1.5 volts, but the lithium battery that was needed is 3.6 volts. By changing the battery to a lithium AA battery, which was 3.6 volts, the door is working perfectly like it was before. I will leave a link in the description below where you can buy these batteries. I hope this video means that you won't make the same mistake that I did and hopefully your garage door fix is an easy fix like this one. Well hopefully you've enjoyed this video and please like and subscribe if you haven't already. It makes a big difference to a small channel like mine. And don't forget every stone chip tells a story and I'll see you in the next one. As you fade away